Let's start with an example of why we need variance or the standard error. Suppose the mean of the population is 100, and we have obtained a set of three samples from this population. If we estimate the mean of the population using the sample mean, we will find it equaling 98. Let's say we have obtained another set of samples. If we find the sample mean again, we will find that it equals 102. The point here is that the estimate varies as we resample the data. So it would be nice to know the measure of how much we would expect the statistic to vary. This measure is given by the variance or the standard error of the estimator. Let's now find the variance and the standard error of the sample mean. First, let's substitute the estimator with its definition. When a constant is multiplied by the random variable, variance of z equals the constant squared times the variance of that random variable. Now, we have variance of the data point, which is same as the true underlying variance of the population. So you can rewrite it with sigma squared and move it outside of the summation. We are now left with sigma squared over m, and the standard error will be the square root of z. What we can learn from this is that the sample mean becomes more accurate as we increase the number of samples m 